Let you know, man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you to help me out. What's going on, family? You guys are so amazing. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS the Podcast. I want to welcome you to another episode of AOS the Podcast. This is an episode for the books. I, I don't think we're going to be long on today, but we're going to be strong. I want to hit a point. Uh, you already see the thumbnail. You already see the title. So, but we're going to jump on in. But before that, I just want to give my preliminaries. Thank you so much, all of our supporters, everybody that's been listening to on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your shares, your likes, your tagging people listen i greatly appreciate this is what i want to for, for this one a lot of y'all share our our shorts on ig tag a brother in it tag aos the podcast uh tag aos.inspires tag us in that post so that we can see it and give you guys a shout out i want to say thank you to each and every one of you that loves what we do and and supports what we do and supports what we stand for, support what we stand for. I want to say thank you so much. So let's go ahead and get started into this thing. I ain't going to be long, but I, I believe that this is going to be something that I think that ladies need to hear. Women need to hear this because oftentimes, uh, let me let me dissect it from this angle. We want certain things, but we really don't know what comes with that. We desire certain people, right? We desire a certain caliber of people, a certain caliber, a certain grade, or a certain background of a person, right? For prime example, we're talking about today, ladies, are you sure? Are you sure you want a man with ambition? Are you sure? Are you positive? Because many women want men with ambition, but... Do you know what comes along with ambition? Let me let me let me rewind this thing. Let's start from the beginning. Oftentimes we want certain things or certain qualities in a person. But the question becomes do you really know what may or may not come with this particular quality? Ambition. Let's look at this. Ambition, ladies. You say you want a guy that's ambitious. Girl, he better be ambitious. I want him to be so ambitious and I want him to be about his business. Okay, great. So you want him to be about his business, but can you stand the fact that some of his time with you going to get cut short? Crickets. I figured that. I, I, I got it. So really, you don't want a man with ambition. You want a man that has all the money. Okay, cool. That's cool in the gang, too. You want a man that has the money so that you can get the credit card and go and shop. But once the shopping and all that stuff is over with and it's time to, or you want to lay down and watch a movie and just spend time and cuddle up, he may have a business meeting to go to. He may have some planning to do, right? And I think that it, it, it's, 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 I think that we need to look at the dynamics of what we really want and what's important and name it as such. Like if you cool with a man with a lot of ambition, you got to understand this ambition may come with you being broke for a season. Matter of fact, the model that Dame Dash said that he does, he says that he puts his own money up. So when he has a project, he puts all his money into that project. The project may be three, four million dollars. He puts all his money up. So he's broke. I mean, he's not broke, but that's the concept that he says that he goes by. Now, his type of broke and a regular type of person broke is two different brokes. His type of broke may be last three, four, five hundred thousand dollars in the bank or the last two million dollars in the bank. This brother's broke. Broke is like, I have no money. Like, I can't go to McDonald's. Right. So, I mean, the question becomes, are you comfortable with what comes along with ambition. Every woman that I've ever heard use a profile, man, he has to have ambition. He has to have drive. But you got to understand what comes with what comes with that ambition and what comes with that drive. You're going to have to sacrifice in some area, some way, something will be sacrificed as it pertains to ambition. I believe that we desire certain things and really don't realize what comes along with it. You desire to be a millionaire. Do you realize how much work it takes to be a millionaire? Do you realize how much work it takes to be a billionaire? You probably wouldn't know because you never talked to a millionaire. You've never been around a billionaire. You've never had a deep conversation or intel conversation about what does it require to be you? As a matter of fact, many of you are not ready to live on that level. Why? How do I know this? Because if I ask you, how much does it cost to be you to the cent? Like, I mean, to the dollar and to the cent, how much does it cost to be you each month? You couldn't tell me. 
You probably say, oh, about 5,000, oh, about 10,000, oh, about 20,000. You, you just be making numbers up. It really wouldn't be a st- it really wouldn't be an accurate number. Let's be real, right? So this lets me know that many people desire to be certain things or desire to be with certain people, but really don't understand what it all calls for or what it, what it's all entail. Like what what is what what does it really mean to be with somebody with ambition? What might I have to give up? What might I have to sacrifice? What might I have to go without? Wow. Many of you, y'all, y'all want that ambitious brother, right? But when it's four o'clock in the morning and he's still working, he's still chipping at it because he doesn't believe in working a nine to five. He believes in being an entrepreneur. He believes in, I have this, this, this is me to the T. I would rather work for myself and make $30,000 a year versus work for somebody else and make a million. That's just me, right? And many of you want, many of you ladies want men that are high producers, but I don't think that you really, really, really understand what may come along with that. Now, let me break this down too. Um, understanding this, if you get with somebody that's ambitious, you must understand this. You may physically, uh, be a, they may be attracted to you physically, but can you stimulate them mentally? Because you're, de- you're dealing with a totally different type of person when you're talking about a person with ambition. A person with ambition and drive, you deal with a totally different person. Because you may can you may can hold their attention physically, but can you hold their attention mentally? Can you hold their attention as it pertains to your drive and your ambition? You want a guy with ambition. Do you have ambition? Do you have drive? Do you have goals? Do you have stickability, if you will? Can you can, can you set a goal and stick to that goal until it comes to fruition, until it happens, until it comes to you begin to see the fruit? Can you stick with it? Or are you that type of woman says, listen, I want you to stick to the plan and I eat the fruit of your labor, but me, I can't really, I I just help you out. Nah, because a man with real ambitions is not looking for somebody just to help him out. He's looking for somebody that can produce as, can you produce? I get it. You want this guy that has ambition, that has drive, that's not a slut, a slack, or, you know, lazy about himself is about his business. But are you about your business? I tell you this every single episode. We talk about it to a degree. Be who you desire to to get. Like if you desire to have that G-Wagon driving woman or that G-Wagon driving brother, I need you to be that type of person. You be that G-Wagon type of person. You be that Ferrari type person. Because you got to realize this. It, It may happen where you're on this level and they're on this level and you guys may work together. But... You got to realize there's going to be something lacking in that relationship, whether it's a physical stimulation, like mentally stimulation, whether it's uh, your work ethic is totally different from my work ethic. You got to understand this. Understand this. There's going to now they may stay with you because, you know, you're just a bomb dot com, but they may show interest in another area with another person. You may be insecure about that, but they stimulate this area of that person and it may not be cheating. It may just be they stimulate them mentally or they stimulate them far as business where you can't stand a foot. You can't stand. You can't hold your own ground in that area. I'm not saying that every area you have to be strong in. I get it. You're going to be so weak. You're going to be weak in some areas. I get that. I understand that. Right. However, when you intentionally go after a person with a certain quality, please make sure that that quality that you're going after, you have some type of quality that can sustain in that area with that person. Don't be, don't be that type of woman that said, listen, I'm looking for a man that's about his business and you lazy and you're procrastinating. It's not going to work. Right. I did an episode a long time ago. Uh, do you know what type of man that you're wired for? Every single woman has some type of depiction of what kind of man she wants. But when you look at that thing on the reverse side, are you that type of woman that this type of man wants? Biggest thing that I tell women is crazy. Like I'm not saying drop your guards or settle, not saying that. But in most cases, in a lot of cases, women want men that don't want them. And the men that want them, they don't want those type of men. Now you're in the catch 22, right? Because who you want don't want you, but who you don't want, want you. 
And it's like, nah, I'm cool on that. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you settle. However, who you want, you may have to change some things about you. I'm going to preach that every single time. You may have to change some things about you. You want this ambitious guy that's, you know, and it's not about finances because you get to the place where finances is great to have, right? But eventually you get to the place where you get used to a certain type of living. Like for a prime example, a homeless person will see you go to Burger King or go to, let's just use this as an example of fast food, purchase a burger and purchase some fries and purchase uh, some chicken nuggets. You eat the burger, you eat some fries and you eat one chicken nugget and you throw the rest in the trash. You throw it all in the trash. A homeless person will look at you like, hold on, what are you doing? Why are you wasting food like that? Like I'm barely getting the food. Why? Because you have become comfortable at the financial level that you're on. The same way with the rich people and wealthy people. They have become comfortable on the level that they're living. So like I said, money is cool, but you get to the place where you get comfortable with the money. So now it's like, what do we have in common outside of us having a good time as it pertains to finances? What else? Like I got drive to make millions. I got the drive to make bills. I have the ambition to build huge companies. But what do we have in common that would keep us mashed together? Because this is crazy. A lot of y'all found out the true side of your person that you're with during the pandemic. They said there was so many divorces during the pandemic. Why? Because they were forced to be together. So now the very issue that I was running from that we could stand because I would be gone for a trip for two weeks, a week, three days, whatever. I was able to leave so I didn't have to face the problems that I was dealing with at home with you. But now during the pandemic, you had to stay there. It's like no running. Like I couldn't go where well. I couldn't lie. I said I had a business trip. You didn't have no business trip. Everything was shut down. So ladies, when you go after these guys with intentionality, make sure that you have a leg in the race. I don't want you going after a guy that is a CEO because this, uh, watch this, you may hold his attention temporarily. You may hold his attention for six months, right? You may hold this ambitious guy attention for a year, but then after that, he realizes you bring nothing to the table. Or the area where I need you the most, you're super weak in, so you're not a benefit to me. I, I'm really, it's, I, it's, this is not going to work. It's not going to work. Ladies, just like you have guys that, that loves you, that wants you, and you're like, nah, this is not going to work for me. This guy feels the same way. This is why I say you are in a catch-22. The man that you want don't want you, and the man that you don't want want you. You make your pick. I'm not saying settle, but what I am saying, I need you to become who you desire to receive. And until you become who you desire to receive, you will always find yourself in an unloose cycle, a nonstop cycle where you get with somebody, you hold their attention for a great, strong six months. And then they're like, "Mm, everything else is cool, but I just just can't overlook this. You're, You're the baddest thing on the market, but you stay on the market. You always become, you always stay a free, you're always a free agent. You are always a free agent. You're the baddest thing on the market, but you're always a free agent because you never took the time to work on you before you get this high level guy that you so desire. Fellas, flip this thing on you too. You want a high level chick, right? But you a low tier guy. I need you to begin to flip some things and check some things about yourself. I love you guys to life. Hope this was a, hope this was helpful to you. I'm pretty sure some of you ladies like, listen, I look at it differently now. I listen, I want this ambitious guy, but I need to change some things about me because I need to hold his attention. I love you guys to life. If you have any questions, I need you to let me know in the comments what was your takeaways from this episode. I love you guys to life. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS the podcast. Let go.